Interstellar travel has long captured the imagination of humanity to explore distant stars and potentially habitable planets. While it is a concept that is fundamental to science fiction, recent advances in space technology have brought this possibility closer to reality. Interstellar travel is one of the greatest challenges in human history, requiring innovations in propulsion, life support, and spacecraft design far beyond what is currently available. Despite these enormous obstacles, the vision of reaching other star systems remains a driving force for scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. Among the leaders of this ambitious research is Elon Musk and his company, SpaceX. Known for its revolutionary advances in rocket technology, SpaceX envisions a future where humanity will colonize other planets in our solar system and reach for the stars. While the company is currently focused on developing a spaceship for missions to Mars and beyond, Musk has made it clear that his ultimate goal is to make interstellar travel a reality. Starship is designed to traverse our entire solar system and outstrip the cloud of objects that surround us. Future spaceships, much larger and more advanced, will travel to other star systems. To achieve this, SpaceX has created a sophisticated spacecraft that is so capable, large and powerful, that it can traverse the vast distances between star systems. The company is currently focused on developing Starship Super Heavy, a revolutionary spacecraft designed for deep space exploration. This launcher is twice as powerful as the Saturn V moon rocket, making it the most powerful spacecraft ever developed. Starship Super Heavy is designed to be fully reusable, carrying up to 200 tons of cargo or passengers to low-cost destinations in deep space. This capability opens up the entire solar system to human exploration making it possible to build bases on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Moving forward, SpaceX has other plans. Before we continue, subscribe, like, and share so that we are more enthusiastic about making the next episode. Let's start today's NR Studio episode. Elon Musk has announced that his company has conceptualized another version of Starship. This spaceship would be much larger and more advanced, designed to travel to other star systems and possibly send humans to nearby stars. While the technology required for interstellar travel far exceeds what any country or company currently has, SpaceX is determined to lay the groundwork for humanity's journey to the stars. The first step toward this is the colonization of Mars, which has been a long-standing ambition of Elon Musk. He has set an ambitious goal to colonize Mars by sending one million people to the Red Planet by 2050. The initiative is driven by the belief that creating a self-sustaining colony on Mars is critical to the future of human spaceflight. With its unique environment and access to resources, such as water ice and various minerals, Mars offers the potential for in situ resource exploitation, allowing colonists to produce the materials needed for survival and construction directly on the planet. This capability would reduce dependence on Earth's supplies, making long-term habitability more feasible and cost-effective. Additionally, Mars's lower gravity and proximity to the asteroid belt make it an ideal place to launch other exploration missions, including interstellar travel. Strategically, Mars could serve as a primary launching point for missions beyond our solar system. This location and resources provide a valuable playground for developing and testing the technologies needed for interstellar travel, facilitating the next major step in human exploration. One of the most intriguing and speculative concepts in interstellar travel is the Alcubierre Drive, a theoretical propulsion system that could allow faster-than-light travel. Proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994, the idea involves creating a deformation bubble around a spacecraft that contracts the space in front of it and expands the space behind it. Instead of the ship moving through space, space itself is moving, allowing the ship to effectively ride the wave of this curved space-time. Theoretically, this would allow a spacecraft to travel faster than light without breaking the laws of physics, since the spacecraft would not technically be moving through space at superluminal speeds, but would instead be stopped in the curvature of spacetime. While Alcubierre's engine offers the vision of faster than light travel, it faces significant scientific and technological challenges. One of the biggest is the energy requirement. Creating and maintaining a warp bubble would likely require an enormous amount of energy, potentially equivalent to the mass of an entire star. Furthermore, the engine would require exotic forms of matter or negative energy 
substances that have not been proven to exist in the required quantities or may not exist at all. This makes the power requirement beyond the capabilities of our current rocket technology. Chemical rockets, which rely on burning fuel to power us, are the basis of modern space exploration. However, they are limited by the relatively low efficiency of chemical reactions. While chemical rockets are sufficient to reach nearby destinations such as the Moon or Mars, they are impractical for interstellar travel due to their inability to reach the high speeds required to travel the vast distances between stars in a reasonable time. At best, chemical rockets can only reach the speed of light, meaning a trip to the nearest star system, Proxima Centauri, would take hundreds of thousands of years. To address this issue, SpaceX is exploring propulsion technologies that could make this possible. One approach is the development of nuclear missiles. Nuclear propulsion could significantly increase the speed of spacecraft by using reactions to generate thrust. This technology could potentially allow spacecraft to reach much faster than the speed of light, reducing travel time to other star systems from thousands of years to just a few decades. For example, a nuclear vehicle could reach Proxima Centauri in half a century, making it possible for long-distance missions. Another more advanced concept is currently being considered, the use of antimatter engines. Antimatter offers the potential for a quantum leap in propulsion technology through the energy released when matter and antimatter annihilate each other. This reaction produces about nine times more energy than nuclear energy, allowing for speeds approaching the speed of light. An antimatter spacecraft could significantly reduce travel time to nearby star systems, potentially making such a journey possible in a human lifetime. However, developing antimatter engines presents challenges such as manufacturing, storage, and handling, which are currently very expensive and technologically complex. From a scientific perspective, sustaining human life for long periods in space presents unprecedented complexities. Inertial emissions require a closed life support system capable of recycling air, water, and food for future generations. Protection from radiation, artificial gravity, and psychological well-being during long-distance travel are also unresolved concerns. Political challenges are also significant. The development of advanced propulsion systems, particularly nuclear or antimatter, could cause geopolitical tensions as these technologies could be considered dual use and have potential military applications. In addition, the approval and regulation of interstellar missions, which may involve the exploitation of space resources or the launch of large-scale projects, require international cooperation. Global agreements governing outer space, such as the Outer Space Treaty, may be revised to reflect the new realities of space exploration. The development and application of these advanced technologies also carry risks. The use of nuclear energy in space, for example, poses environmental risks in the event of accidents during launch and in space. Antimatter, if mishandled, could cause catastrophic explosions. There are also risks associated with long-term radiation exposure from human spaceflight, crew damage, and the psychological effects of isolation. These uncertainties make interstellar travel not only a major technical challenge, but also a dangerous adventure with potentially significant consequences for humanity. Despite the enthusiasm for interstellar exploration, these endless challenges must be approached with caution, balancing ambition with responsibility, and ensuring that the search for stars does not become too costly. Other challenges will arise in the process of interstellar travel. The Alkibi air drive ensures the safety of spacecraft and their passengers. Theoretical models suggest that strong gravitational forces could be generated in the distorting bubble which could damage the spacecraft or nearby objects in space. In addition, the Alkibi air drive would likely produce large amounts of radiation, which could pose significant risks to the crew and any destinations reached. Despite these challenges, the Alkibi air drive concept continues to inspire scientists and engineers as a possible solution to reaching seemingly insurmountable interstellar distances. While still in the realm of science fiction, it represents a breakthrough in theoretical physics and space travel. A vision of a future where interstellar travel could be accomplished in months, not centuries. SpaceX will surely be leading this more ambitious goal in the years to come. Starship will be a major player in conquering the vast frontiers of space. So while Starship is currently a new vehicle testing vehicle, 
it still has the potential to achieve something through continuous innovation and improvement. When SpaceX achieves regular Starship operations, similar to the current Falcon 9, it will accelerate the development of new plans such as trips to Mars and interstellar exploration simultaneously. Of course, this cannot be done without funding from the Starlink company. The financial potential of Starlink is quite extraordinary. With millions of people in 99 countries already subscribed, SpaceX projects that Starlink could generate up to a trillion dollars per year once fully operational. This funding will not only come from traditional internet subscriptions, but also from emerging markets such as mobile phone services, where conventional networks struggle to provide coverage. The ability to provide fast broadband to areas with little or no connectivity opens up a large and largely untapped market of potential users. This revenue generates very high profit margins because the satellites require little maintenance after deployment. By securing a steady and substantial cash flow from Starlink, SpaceX can reduce its dependence on external investors and government contracts, allowing the company to develop the technology needed for Mars colonization and interstellar travel. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next video.